Welcome to this session on placing slabs using the by boundary method. Before you begin, you will want to enable the Pro Structure Snap. This is set in the Pro Structure Toggles toolbar. By default, this is docked at the bottom of the interface. Now, in order to take advantage of the Pro Structure Structural Snap, the default snap mode must be set to key point. The floor selector should be set to the ground floor. The views now show the grid for the ground floor and the ACS plane lock and ACS plane snap lock are turned on automatically when a floor is selected. Select the slab tool from the structural elements group. The property panel opens showing the catalog properties for place slab and the ribbon now displays the placement tab with options for the placement of the slabs. In the property panel, set the catalog item to example slab concrete this catalog item is delivered with the work set. Its default thickness is six inches for the US data set and 150 millimeters for the neutral metric data set. Ensure that these properties are correctly set. The slab type should be slab on grade. The slab direction should be two way with a reinforcement angle of zero. The structural function is structural. There should be an ID type ID of concrete slab and an ID item ID of S1. And the phase should be set to new construction. In the placement ribbon, set the placement options. Place by should be boundary, place from should be top, and the base offset should be zero. Set the overhang to one foot, meaning the slab will extend one foot beyond the boundary shape that we define, and the side edge or the side angle should be vertical. Now, following the prompts in the lower left, enter the first point of the slab boundary by snapping to the bottom of the column at A1. Continue to snap to the bottom of the columns at each corner and around the front entry to define the perimeter boundary of the slab. When finished, reset or right-click to finish placing the slab. The ground floor slab is placed. Now in the next session, we will place the upper floor slabs using the structural members to define the slab edges. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.